When most people think of Florida, they envision sunshine, theme parks, but this former Spanish colony, which became the 27th state to enter the Union, is far more than that. More sun, sea, and sand could be found in the south, where the Florida Keys stretch for approximately 120 miles along the Florida Straits. Come here for more beaches, scuba diving, snorkeling, and the possibility of one of the most stunning road drives imaginable. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about top 10 best destinations to visit in Florida. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Number 10, St. Augustine. St. Augustine, known as the nation's oldest city, has origins that date back to 1565, when it was colonized by Europeans. There are numerous tours that take you back in time. Take an old town trolley tour to see over 100 areas of interest, including Ponce de Leon's Fountain of Youth Archaeological Park, where you can sip the famous immortality imbuing water. St. Augustine, located on the northeast coast, boasts a pedestrian-only boulevard and wonders such as the Castillo de San Marcos, a Spanish stone fortification built in the 1600s that has been designated a national monument. Get lost on St. George Street, where antiques and eclectic boutiques await. Number 9. Tampa Bay Area The Tampa Bay Area, located on the Gulf of Mexico, contains Tampa Bay, a major natural harbor, and other popular cities such as Tampa and St. Petersburg. Tampa is home to the NFL's Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Bush Gardens, a theme park known for having Florida's top roller coaster rides, and a zoo dedicated to creatures from Africa's Serengeti Plain. When it comes to beach calming, nothing beats St. Pete Beach. TripAdvisor readers voted it the greatest beach in the United States and fifth in the world in 2012, citing its white sand beaches and clean water. Number eight, Fort Lauderdale. For a romantic weekend in Fort Lauderdale, visit this coastal splendor on Florida's southern coast. Idyllic beaches and gorgeous gardens set the tone for the perfect lover's vacation. Hugh Taylor Birch State Park, which extends 180 acres between the Intracoastal Waterway and the Atlantic Ocean, has natural pathways perfect for jogging and bicycling, and promises an intimate connection with nature. Bonnet House Museum and Gardens, a magnificent 20th century home built on a native barrier island, is a must-see for nature fans. Its hibiscus garden and bright tropical plants provide a wonderful atmosphere. Flamingo Gardens, an Everglades wildlife refuge, is home to a broad range of Florida's natural animals, as well as over 3,000 plant species, providing nature lovers with a unique experience. Number seven, Dry Tortugas National Park. If you want to experience a completely different side of Florida, you should visit Dry Tortugas National Park. It's distinct from the other of Florida's greatest destinations and definitely worth a visit if you're in the region. Fort Jefferson is a historical site that should not be missed. However, the seashore is completely pristine here and should not be missed when you come. It's an incredible area to snorkel and see some of the best coral reefs. Simply keep an eye out for the resident turtles. Dry Tortugas National Park is located on a group of islands about 68 miles from Key West so you must fly in by seaplane or ferry. Number six, Universal Orlando Resort. Universal Orlando Resort's Island of Adventure includes the wizarding world of Harry Potter and Universal Studios. Aside from Harry Potter, there are more movie themes to explore, such as Despicable Me, Minions, The Transformers, and Shrek. You can choose themed rides from your favorite movies and meet dressed up characters who roam around the park. Universal Studios is fantastically nostalgic for adults, but pure enchantment for youngsters. The top rides at Universal Studios are Jurassic World, The Ride, The Simpsons Ride, and Transformers. The Ride 3D, we recommend trying the Jurassic Park-themed roller coaster. It's one of Universal Studios' top water park attractions, and, disclaimer, you'll be soaked by the end. Number five, Bush Gardens, Tampa. Bush Gardens is one of Tampa's most popular tourist attractions. This African theme park is home to a variety of exotic creatures and proudly claims to be one of North America's largest zoos. You can witness lions, tigers, elephants, giraffes, gorillas, 
and many other animals. Safari-style tours and open-air vehicles provide the opportunity to witness creatures such as giraffes, zebras, rhinos, and ostriches grazing freely. Other trips take you behind the scenes and give you the opportunity to interact with penguins or see tigers and elephants up close. Another popular family activity is live animal shows, which feature a unique cast of characters. Number four, Naples. Naples, better known for its silver surfers and snowbirds, is without a doubt one of Florida's most popular tourist spots. We spent a good day in the region and really enjoyed its pier. The beaches were likewise immaculate, and the real estate was very stunning. Naples is one of Florida's most popular tourist destinations, and I was concerned that I wouldn't fit in there. As a tourist, though, I must admit that I thoroughly appreciated it. I felt young, not that I am old, and I thought it was a lovely area of Florida. There's a lot more to see at Naples, but we didn't have time on our trip. Sample the specialties at the area's eateries. People watch from pavement cafes and visit the various galleries and retail boutiques. Number three, Palm Beach. Despite having a rich history, most people only associate this island with Worth Avenue shopping, upscale eating, and miles of resorts. Visiting this section of Florida is made much more enjoyable by the opportunity to see both new and old things side by side. In addition to Henry Flagler's now museum-like old home, you may explore the Boca Raton Historic Society Train Museum and the Inlet Lighthouse. Treat yourself to some gastronomic nirvana after reading through all that history. Number two, Orlando. For a family vacation in Florida, Orlando is the perfect destination. World-famous theme parks with a distinct assortment of rides and attractions, such as Walt Disney World and Universal Studios, are located in this city. The islands at Universal should not be missed by thrill-seekers, as they are home to some of the nation's most exhilarating roller coasters. One of the best water parks in Orlando is Volcano Bay at Universal Orlando Resort. It has over 20 attractions, including the tallest body slide in the nation. With Florida's only 03, 60 degrees ocean tunnel, Sea Life Orlando Aquarium is a great choice for families interested in aquatic wonders. Concurrently, the world's greatest collection of extremely uncommon white leucistic alligators resides in Gatorland, a 110-acre park. Number one, Miami. Miami, one of the liveliest cities in the United States, is well known for its exciting nightlife and Latin culture. Miami, a significant port city in Southeast Florida that is home to the most passenger cruise ships in the world, is situated off the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. Miami, a global tourist destination known for its diverse range of sites and activities, is a melting pot of various cultures. Miami's sunny beaches, which range from family-friendly to party beaches, are one of the city's main draws. Miami Beach, famous for its glitzy South Beach and Art Deco buildings, is located on a barrier island across the bay from Miami. That's a wrap on the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.